Soccer is really big in Oklahoma City. I started playing soccer when I was four. Um, I was very, very bad at it. I was horrible. My brother was like the all-star. My dad literally told me, he said, I'm not putting money into him in soccer. And my mom said, as long as my brother's playing, he's gonna play. That's why I'm so competitive, because I'm always trying to be like my brother, always trying to beat him in everything he does. I wanted them to see me play college soccer, and Tulsa was close to home, and I'm a very family person, and it was awesome. So like my parents, it was, all, it was like an hour and a half drive, and they were there at every single game. Chavo and I have known each other for three years now. Uh, we played together in Fort Lauderdale. I was ecstatic that I was playing for the Fort Lauderdale Strikers, but I was away from my parents probably the longest I've ever been, because even in college, I would drive back and forth on the weekends and stuff. It was tough, but I mean, it's part of being an adult, you start growing up, start doing your own things. But every day, I mean, every day I still talk to my parents and my brother. Darnell was one of the first guys that, you know, we just started talking to me. He started talking to me, we started bonding, we started hanging out. Great friendship, great teammate. It's more like a brother. And then just like that, we just kept sticking it together for, the, for those three years, a little over three years. And until this day, he still keeps following me around. <laughs> We uh, live in the same complex now, so you know we will go on our kayak adventures. You know we'll, we'll have dinner together, we'll play cards. So it makes life easier, you know, to have like your brother come with you to the next spot. From his family, I know his brother, his mother, and all, everybody. Like when we we used to go to San Antonio, you see him all there, and they go out to dinner, and we go say what's up to them. And very very uh, heartwarming family. They're, they're all great people. Every time we went down there. Even if I was there or wasn't there, they would make the trip just to see the Rowdies play and be supportive. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, summer of 2013, I believe. Yeah, it was a big life changer for me. People always talk about, oh, I don't have the newest shoes, I don't have the newest cleats, blah, blah. I'm just grateful to have my health and all that. And that's very important to me now, is just health, family, and just being around him as much as I can. He's a simple guy and that's, uh, I think for any person, uh, it uh, makes life a lot easier when you just simplify everything. Does his job you know, here in the stadium or anywhere else and goes home and takes care of himself and thinks about his family and himself. I like keeping to myself. I don't like sympathy and stuff like that. I just like keeping everything to myself. But it's good to get other people around to help you out through the, through the process. We've been through uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly. I'm there for him all the time, just you know, as much as he is for me. My mom's doing excellent. She's 98% clear, and um, she's living life right now. I will always have something to do with Oklahoma City. If it's even with soccer, if I just have a house there or something. He talks a lot about it. I've never been personally, so, but uh, he's very prideful for where he comes from.